Hi friends, today I'm going to be sharing Pedro, the Angel of Alvera Street by Leo Politi, and the artwork is also by Mr. Politi. To the children of Alvera Street. On Alvera Street, in the heart of the big city of Los Angeles, Pedro and his grandfather played music and sang songs. Pedro sang lovely Mexican songs, and when he sang to the music of his grandfather's violin, crowds would gather around to listen, and often someone would say, Pedro sings like an angel. Grandpa held Pedro's hand as they crossed the street from the old mission church to the plaza and then to Alvera Street. How things have changed since I was a little boy like you, Pedro, said Grandpa. I can remember when the mission church, the plaza, and Alvera Street were the center of the Pueblo of Los Angeles. Then I saw the Pueblo grow all around, big and bigger. And look what a great city Los Angeles is now. Alvera Street was so important then, and now how little and lost it is in the midst of such wide streets and tall buildings. But still, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it not, Pedro? Yes, Pedro loved Alvera Street. He loved the little streets because it was just as it was in the days of the past with the red tile pavement and the old adobe houses where the birds fluttered around the fountain and fed among the footsteps. He loved the humble little puestos shops lined along the center of the street and bulging with colorful wares. He loved the smell of good Mexican food, tacos, tamales, enchiladas, and music. There was always music everywhere and he loved Alvera Street because everyone was friendly and greeted him with a smile. Buenos dias, Pedro. Good morning, Pedro. He liked to watch the many artisans working at their interesting crafts. Pedro had many friends with whom he played up and down the street. They always came running to follow the organ grinder with his amusing monkey. The crowd around the puppet show and the little bullfight where a trained dog took the part of the bull. Pedro liked this better than the real bullfight because this one was all in fun and no one ever got hurt. They loved to suck a piroli, a Mexican candy on a stick. Rosita sold it for only one penny. <laughs> but the best time of all the year for Alvera Street is Christmas time! Then the streets look so gay, all decorated for the Christmas procession called Las Posadas. This year, Manuel was in charge of decorating the street. He took pride in making it look its best for the great event. The children helped Manuel hang a large piñata in the shape of a fantastic peacock on a rope in the center of the street. The piñata was really an earthenware jar filled with candies and toys. Pedro hoped that among the many toys in the piñata, there would be a small music box like the one he had seen in Tomás's puesto. And how he wished to be the lucky one to get it, when on Christmas Eve, the piñata was broken. 
Manuel was also in charge of planning and directing the Posada. The Posada is a procession which, like the Christmas play, tells the story of the journey of Holy Mother Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem. It tells how they sought shelter, or Posada, from the dark night and at last found refuge in a humble stable where the Christ child was born. First come the musicians, then come four people carrying the images of the Holy Family on a small wooden altar. Then in line, two by two, come the children, followed by the women and then the men. This year Manuel thought of something that would make the procession even more beautiful. He had heard Pedro sing and he had heard people say, Pedro sings like an angel. So he said, we must have an angel to lead La Posada. He was so pleased with his idea that he hurried to Tomás's puesto and asked him to make two little red wings for Pedro. The posada began on the 16th of December and journeyed through the streets singing, We weary pilgrims come to your door, shelter in your puesto, we beg, we implore. But at every door they knocked, the reply was, No, no, there is no shelter here, no posada. And for nine nights at the same hour each evening, the posada went through the street. The people in the tall houses looked down on the posada. Against the darkness of the night, they could see the brightly lit altar. The procession made a little trail of lights with the candles flickering joyfully and mounting to the sky above the music and above the chorus was Pedro's lovely voice. At the head of the procession he walked. But until Christmas Eve, no doors would open to them. And then on Christmas Eve, the doors of Apuesto were wide open. Enter Mary Queen of Heaven, enter Holy Joseph into this poor Puesto. And the Holy Family entered to rest for the night. As they entered, there was great joy, and everyone sang, O oh, humble pilgrims keep us, Joseph and Mary and Jesus. My soul at last has found them, my heart has found them now. <laughs> As the posada ended, the children came running to the place where the piñata hung. La piñata, la piñata, they cried. Before the game started, the children got so impatient and noisy that Manuel had to raise his voice many times to keep order. One by one, in turn, the children were blindfolded and with the stick tried to break the piñata. Deo, Juanita, hit it, Juanita! Deo, Deo, hit it, hit it, hit it, they cried. Manuel howled and pulled the rope from which the piñata hung and made it go up and down so it would be harder to hit and make the game more exciting. There was much laughing and shouting. Whenever there was a close hit, the excitement grew. And as the music played, they sang... Drop, oh piñata, the lovely small toys to all the children so eagerly waiting. Hit it, Panchito, do not delay. There will be candies and toys Christmas Day. It was Pedro in his little red wings who had landed a terrific hit and broke the piñata. Now the crowd grew more and more excited and the shouting children scrambled for the falling toys. Pedro came out of the rush with his red wings a bit ruffled. But he was smiling and in his hand he held a small music box. It was the music box he had wished for. As it grew late, the people began to go home and the lights died down. Soon the street became dark and deserted, except for the bright light burning in the puesto over the little altar with the Holy Family. Pedro was sleepy when he walked home that night. He leaned his head against Grandpa and his wings drooped as if they too were tired. Buenas noches, Pedro. 
Good night, Pedro. Now, it was almost midnight, and Pedro was in his bed, sound asleep and dreaming. By his side, the music box began to play softly. In the sky, Pedro saw the bright star of Bethlehem shining down on Alvera Street. Then an angel with little red wings flew down from heaven to sing a lovely song over the humble puesto where once again the Christ child was born.